This is my physical graffiti. You can see they have uh, quite a few fruit set already. But the, this is one I'm most interested. If you look at here, see this says PL. So this fruit is uh, pollinated by Pallora pollen. As I said before, Pallora is a tetraploid dragon fruit. And when they pollinate the diploid dragon fruit, the result hybrid will be triploid, which will be very, very interesting. Last year, by accident, I found out Pallora successfully pollinated the KC Vietnam rune. And I was very excited and grew up some of the hybrid from that uh, cross. But the problem is, both Pallora and the KC Vietnam rune is not red fruit. I want to have the red fruit pollinated by Pallora. And this is a physical graffiti, have the large fruit and also have a red fruit flesh. I have been trying to pollinate the physical graffiti with uh, Pallora pollen. Last year I tried it twice, both failed. And this year I tried twice also, the first one failed. But this one succeeded. So now I have something else to play around again. This one seems ready, so it's all dangling. I'm going to just harvest it. So this is the physical graffiti pollinated by Pallora pollen. This is supposed to be a physical graffiti, but it's much smaller than the regular physical graffiti. I think it's because the Pallora pollen. So we'll open it up, take a look. That's not bad. I just interested on their seeds. This one is not bad. It quite a few seeds. So I empty the the whole fruit, and you can see majority of seeds are floating. And uh, this is a few that the sinking. But this guy, just like the KVA pollen by Palora, they all floating one too. And you can see some of the seeds is already sprouted and also floating. So floating did not reduce their germination capacity. Anyway, I'm going to separate them and do an experiment to see uh, what's the difference in the germination rate between the floating one and the sinking one. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, Put the sink seeds in these two wells and the floating in here. The, the sink seeds I have around 40 and uh, now I can just uh, give them. So put some here and some here. I have no idea why some are floating, some are sinking. Even the, some of the floating one, you can see they already germinated. Like there, there's two there. So it's not about the quality, I'm not sure. But anyway, the floating ones are hard to separate, so I'm gonna just dump the whole whole thing in here. So some of them will be there. And uh, some of the seeds will be there. To be here, I'll have plenty seeds actually this way. So, some of this is still on the bottom, or I'll put about the sink one here. Just try to move the soil a little bit to give them a little coverage. Then we'll see how, how many of them will, will germinate. That's about it. 
this is about 14 days later. What a surprise! So few of them coming out. Then in previous section, lots of them already germinated. But when I put them here, so few coming out. Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even those looks like a germinated one, none of them came out. I was suspicious why the germinated one still floating. That was strange, but you can see that the, the floating one that looks like germinated did not come out. Normally seeds come out in seven days. I already wait for 14 days. Doesn't seem any more coming out. So this. This is my back cross from the R, R back cross to KVA. They only have 130 seeds. You see how many of them coming out? This is after I took around 20 for grafting. It's already so many, 130 seeds, so many germinated. This is a diploid, pollinated by diploid dragon fruit pollen. And this, I have 300 in this four. So around 100 seeds on these two. I have so few of them coming out. You can see some of them probably eaten by, by snail. See that one of them here? Uh, this one here. This one is, is not real. It's a, just, a, just a stem. See? So the snail ate some of them. Every one of them are precious, so I put the tray on the bottom and fill with water and put something tall, taller than the edge in the center and put the tray on the top. In this way, the snail cannot cross the water, so they can't crawl on my seedlings. Ever since I put the, the, this tray on, on top, this uh, water bath, I don't see any more snail damage so it's so uh, it's good but uh, only seven seedlings come out from 400 seeds the germination rate even less than last time last time from the kva pollen by pleura i get like a three out of 100 now i get seven out of 400 so um i'm not going to do the toothpick right way. If the toothpick doesn't work, I'll lose them. Um, so I'm probably going to wait a little longer for them to have more graftable material growing up from them before I start grafting. Ah, this is so frustrating. This triploid germination rate is so low, which is uh, also proof that uh, this seeds are a triploid. is a real um, diploid pollinated by tetraploid because otherwise the germination rate would be much higher. So uh, my next update on this project probably is going to be for a while. Alright, thanks for watching.